Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get you a good sharp knife. A um, little small knife will work best. Um, you're going to start by making an incision in the chest cavity. Just around, just around the stomach here, you'll feel a little brisket there and uh, it's a hard bone just like a chicken has. You're going to start there. If you could, just kind of spread the feathers back. Now I'm going to mount this bird. Um, and so I'm going to be very careful not to, you know, tear into the the, uh, the the skin too much. I don't want to tear too many feathers out or anything like that because that's going to transfer over to my mouth. So if you make a little incision, plucking it up, that will be best. Okay. So, just gonna tuck through the skin there, and now I have that little that little incision, and I can fit my finger in there. I'm gonna use my finger and go around in a circle to loosen the skin from the meat, make a little pocket. Now, pheasant's skin tears very easily. So, just like chicken does. Um, so you want to be very, very, very soft about how you, um, how you kind of work at the skin area. Okay, now I'm just working my finger around, loosening it up as much as I can. And then, I'm going to open this incision up just a little bit. Okay, just enough to where I can get the get the get down and I can see down into the area. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do too is start working around the legs. And see, like I said, I'm using my finger and reaching in there and loosening the skin from the meat. You can't really see it, but once um I cut I'm going to cut around this little drum here. I'm going, to, I'm going to break this leg. And sometimes you can keep the leg intact. If you can and cut the meat off, that would be even better. Because the more you have of that leg bone, the better you can use the legs to, to mount. Um, to do different, different poses. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end up, actually end up cutting, cutting down into this leg what will be the drumstick. You see I made a little incision there. Okay. And I'm being careful where my knife is. And then I cut and try and expose that bone. Expose the knuckle. Because you don't want to break the legs. If you can avoid it. It's just like chicken, but it's not that difficult. Okay, so I got through the leg now. Now you can see the drumstick is now almost now almost loose. And later on, I can take in and uh, carve that meat off of there. But just to get the main part out, I want to just separate it from the rest of the body. And I'm sticking my finger through there. Now that I know that that's, that has no skin intact, I can stick my knife through there, be careful, and just flip, just like that. And now the leg is, is, is um, separated. Now I can work down towards the, the vent. And I'm not really pulling as much as I am just working my finger around around these areas, around the bot the main body, and then I start loosening the skin from the from the uh, body cavity. And this would help if um, if if you wanted to keep feathers off of your meat because you're not actually you know, exposing your meat to too many feathers. So, 
see I kind of pull back, kind of pull back. If I can get a peek in there, I can see where I need to pull it apart with my fingers. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the other leg. bird had a lot of burrs in it. So now that I have the other leg kind of loose there, I'm going to do the same thing and try and cut. Pull it back and cut. As I said, being careful with the knife and try not to cut your skin because you're going to have to sew that if you're going to mount it. So you can see how that just pulled off really easily. So like I said, using a knife sparingly, now that I know that that's meat right there, I can just stick my knife in and work it up. Be mindful of where my hand is. my knife in there and just keep cutting up. Now that I have the, the leg worked down, I can kind of pull that up, pull the leg out of its socket, work my finger through the other side, and now I see that it's through the other side. I can take my knife, easy, just flip it in there and flip. Okay, now I have that part, I have the both legs disconnected and they're cut off and the same thing with the wings, I can move up with the wings and try and keep these feathers kind of pulled back. It would help if you had an extra couple of hands but in this case I do not. <laughs> And I'm just working up towards the... And now I'm going to go ahead and try and separate the skin from the wing area. And now uh, you see that brisket area? You can cut the wings right here. Uh oh. You can cut the wings, cut the wings on each side, and then pull it right out. <clears throat> Be mindful not to cut through your skin. Okay. Now that we have now that we have that area down there worked out, I'm gonna go ahead and try and pull this back. And I can see that that's where the shot went. Pull it back. Use your knife sparingly. You don't want to cut through the through the uh, through the skin. You want to avoid that as much as possible. Okay. And 
going to cut the wings out. And you want the little drumstick on the end. You want that because if you're going to mount it, if you're going to mount it, you have to have that drumstick there so you can have the wings spread out. <clears throat> so basically you're taking the cavity out. So here's the other one. Try not to cut out too much of the breast. Usually if you're going to mount a bird, you usually take the whole bird to the taxidermy. And then he will dress it just like this, but there we go. Now I'm just trying to get through the joint without, there we go. Cut it loose and there we go. And come on. Okay, there we go. Now I have these two wings cut off. Now I just need to sever the neck as long as I can find a point where I'm not cutting through the skin. I stick my finger, make the, the neck into a loop, stick my finger through so I know I'm not on the skin. I don't have the skin in there and So now as I cut this loose, this whole cavity can come out. I'm going to just cut it sparingly so I don't, I'd rather have the meat on there then to cut the flesh because I can cut the meat off or pull it off like that but I can't put the I don't want to sew the hide back together sew the the skin back together so I'm just now just pulling it off until I get down to the bottom and pull very lightly be very cautious because there is one of the shots right there There's a shot. You want to make sure that you get those out. So now that I have it down to the legs, I have passed the legs and now I'm going to get down to the tail. And after I have the tail done, I'm going to cut it and leave this meat on. Okay. I'm going to cut around that and then carve it after I get ready to, right before I get ready to, um, to mount it. I want those quills in there. So there you go. And that's how you cut a field dress of pheasant, field dress of pheasant for mounting. And then I'll clean up the legs, take the meat off of there.